Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide, how to create an ISO file from files and folders with Power ISO. So without further ado, let's get right into it. If you haven't already, download and install Power ISO on your computer. Open the Power ISO application, or open it as administrator. Then, click on Continue Trial Version. Then click on the Add button on the toolbar to add the files and folders you want to include in the ISO. You can hold Ctrl to multi-select files and folders. You can also drag and drop files directly from Windows Explorer into the Power ISO window. If needed, you can create new folders, change labels, etc. Once you've added all the files and made any necessary changes, click the Save button on the toolbar or choose File then Save from the menu. Enter the desired file name and select the output format as standard ISO images, .iso. Power ISO will then create the ISO file and show the progress. Once the process is complete, the new ISO file will be ready for use. Note, with the trial version, you can create or edit an ISO file up to 300 megabytes in size for free. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.